All right, today, guys, I'm going to show you how to use a OTDR, which stands for an Optical Time Domain Re Reflectometer. And what that does is it tests many different things about a fiber, um, such as the distance, um, the signal strength, um, which is how strong the light is. Um, it can tell you where bends, breaks, so on and so forth. It can just about tell you anything you want to know about a fiber circuit. Um, right now, I've got my OTR plugged in here to a jumper running into a patch panel. And I'm going to test that port here. Now, I do want to disclose that normally when you're shooting a fiber optic circuit, you want to use what's called a launch reel. And the reason why you want to use a launch reel is it has a distance of about a thousand foot, sometimes three, 320 foot. It just depends on what kind you buy. Um, the light coming out of this device, which is the OTDR, is sometimes so strong that it will reflect off the inside of this cable and come back and actually distort the data within the unit. So you need that launch reel for the unit to be able to tell itself, hey, I'm going to cancel out the first thousand foot. Um, Anyways, I'm not using one of those right now because after you've been using one long enough and you know your distances of what they're supposed to be between um, the two points you're testing, um, which this is something I commonly test, I'm able to use this because I know if it gives me something crazy, there's either something wrong or I need to swap out the launch reel, uh, put the launch reel in and test it with it. Um, so today, again, I'm not gonna be testing it with a launch reel. But if you look here on the OTDR, I'm going to go back to the home menu. This is a Viavi, also known as a JDSU. Um, we have the same unit. Um, we have two of these, actually. This one says Viavi because the Viavi bought out JDSU, but they're actually the same thing. Down here, you've got many different options, and I'm going to do some videos on other stuff that this OTDR does, but today I'm going to do what's called a single mode smart test. And when I click on that, I have multiple wavelengths I can test. 1310, 1550, or 1625. I just want to know the distance. I don't want to know what the difference is between the wavelengths. So I'm going to unselect two of those. And it honestly, to me, doesn't matter which one of the three I'm going to use right now because I just want to know the distance. And if I select all three of those, it's got to do a separate test on all three of those wavelengths, which makes me have to sit here and wait longer. And I've selected no for launch cable. In the distance unit, I prefer to look in feet. Um, those alarms you see here are actually, if you see it says default here, you can configure different parameters of what will throw off an alarm. Um, I haven't marked yes, um, but honestly, like I said, that's not what I'm looking for right now. I wanna know the distance. I wanna know if this fiber is making it from point A to point B. And all I'm gonna do to do that is click start test. You can see there at the beginning it says link table and it said good that means it's basically saying that the connection um, plugging into the OTDR is good if it was bad it would throw up and say you have a dirty patch panel or patch cable or port and you would need to clean those and then retest um, see that was pretty quick because I used the only the 1550 wavelength it would have been three times that amount of time if I had decided to test the other two wavelengths as well. And you can see here it shows us 7,026 foot at 1550. And that is how you use an OTDR to test the distance.